Weather First with meteorologist Joshua Rivas. All right, and good Sunday evening. Everybody, hope you're enjoying the rest of your Sunday. As we close out the weekend, we have the clouds around, unfortunately blocking some of our sunset. But I think we'll end up with a nice one here. All right, and we'll do it again for Monday as well. We'll have the clouds around. The humidity is also on the increase still with the dew points pretty high thanks to our southerly wind now. And with that, the moisture is still going to be in place in the low to mid level. So I think we'll still see a few showers possible. Again, overall rain coverage not all that high, but similar to Sunday, just can't rule out that chance. Satellite imagery this evening, well, most of the deep clear, clear, layered cloud cover is off towards our west associated with that frontal system. Uh, but again, most of the moisture content and severe weather uh, potential with that will be weakening as it moves towards the east. But we will be seeing some upper level cloud cover mixing with our low level clouds starting the day tomorrow and going into Tuesday. Now the waters on Monday, partly cloudy, slight breeze, southerly wind though, not easterly, sees one to two feet with a light chop. 80 degrees, same thing for the beach as a southerly wind, breezy at times. Surf one to two feet, sunset at 538 in the evening. Again, a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day. Now the mid levels, let's take a look at it. We got the moisture mixed in with a little bit of dry air. so. Again, very similar to Sunday with the southerly wind, breezy at times, we have that chance of a few isolated showers. Again, just a few passing showers, best chance going to be inland, uh, but again, overall rain coverage and overall rainfall accumulation, not that high. The frontal boundary will again set in stone now, looks like we'll see the station out just towards our north going Tuesday into Wednesday across Tampa Bay northward. But then we start turning our eyes towards the west for the next frontal system to begin to develop here. You can see it here by the day on Wednesday, and that one looks a lot more potent and is poised to push through our area starting the day on Friday. We could see a few strong storms if the front is strong enough. Temperatures for tonight ending up in the upper 60s, well above normal. A chance of fog because the dew points are pretty close or actually almost going to be the same in the morning to our actual temperature. So as long as the winds are light enough, we will be seeing some areas of patchy fog in the morning, so be careful out there. Temperatures in the afternoon climbing back up in the low 80s with a 10% chance of rain. Again, the best chance going to be inland. The seven day forecast, not really any change here with the rain chance, really low. Chance of fog in the morning on Tuesday again. And then by Friday, I'm going 40% chance of rain. Front will be moving through. It looks like that will be the case, uh, but we could see a higher rain chance. Again, a few strong storms, depending upon how strong that front really is. And if it is really that strong, well, it could be a cold weekend next weekend with high temperatures in the mid 60s and temperatures possibly near 50. But right now I'm going to go a little bit higher until I get to see how the trend continues and we'll stay the low to mid 50s, uh, maybe some upper 50s and highs in the upper 60s. All right, now the web weather updates coming up Monday morning.